Welcome to another installment of African Farming Digital. Now the environment is part of the livelihood of farmers and if we look after the environment, it will look after us. I'm talking to Pravin Dwarika here at Lemang Agricultural Services and we're going to be talking about the impact that farmers have on the environment. Pravin, thanks for having us. Always a pleasure having you here, welcome. So Pravin, I go into farms and I see it's all green and beautiful and I think, hmm, this must be good for the environment, but that's not always the case, is it? Not always the case. Certainly, I mean, you know, as we were growing up and we were in school, we learned that, you know, plants release oxygen into the atmosphere and they use carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. But certainly, you know, the reverse is true at night, of course. But then there's other aspects of it. It's not just the green that you're seeing, it's what's happening underneath, the, you know, in the roots and the soil. So we know that soil has lost carbon, for example, over several decades of industrial agriculture. So these are the important factors that we need to take into account when we think about what effect agriculture has on it. So, you know, we've, we've released a lot of that carbon into the atmosphere due to using conventional, you know, tilling methods, plowing, etc. So uh, these are some of the impacts that we've had on agriculture, so, on the environment rather. But th there's ways to mitigate that and, and certainly farmers are becoming more aware of it at least, uh, the consciousness is out there. Now let's take it a step back. I mean, weather patterns are changing, right? I mean, that's also part of um, the environment being affected. Absolutely. So give us a few examples of how things have changed in the last couple of years in terms of, in terms of weather. Absolutely. So you've seen we've come out of a severe drought a couple of years back where, you know, we were really battling with production. We lost livestock. We lost production. Um, and suddenly we went into a season of heavy rainfall and then we had the KZN floods not only the severe economic damage that we had, but we lost lives in that flooding. And that was an event that happened, you know, it wasn't forecasted. We, we expected some rain and suddenly we were sitting in, in a period where we had severe flooding. So we can see these huge contrasts in, in weather patterns, but that's a function of a, of a deeper climate change. So it's not just, you know, uh, just a freak weather event. It's changing, not just in South Africa, across the world, it's happening. So let's take it um, to the farmer side. How can farmers adapt their farming practices to be more environmentally friendly? So, so I think there's a lot that farmers can do. Unfortunately, a lot of that comes at a cost. So these, these, this is the, the catch-22. And where we are at this point in time in, in the work that we're doing as Lamang together with a lot of our collaborative partners is we're trying to find financial solutions to assist farmers to improve their farming practices. You know, typically, for example, you find a farmer that may like a particular tractor but the tractor is too big for the farm in the sense that the amount of carbon that is releasing into the atmosphere is a bit too much for the input that it's giving into the farm. So those are some of the types of things, types of fertilizer, types of chemicals that you're using, your cultivation methods, the types of crops that you're planting, all of these things can have an impact on the environment. And these are the things that farmers need to become a lot more conscious about and make those changes. But we're here to support those farmers along that journey and see how we can assist them to make that journey less onerous on them. So basically, we're not reinventing the wheel here. We just have to look at how we do things and when we do them, is that correct? Absolutely, so there's that huge difference between innovation and invention. We're not inventing anything, we're just innovating the current ways of farming so that we can do it better, climate smart, more environmentally friendly, and a lot more sustainable in the long term. Prabhin, thank you for that insight. You're very welcome, Tavi. The environment is part of our livelihoods. We have to look after it, because if we don't, then it can't look after us. We have to come together and come with good solutions. Thank you so much for watching African Farming Digital. And remember, we farm better together. Get your free copy of the African Farming Magazine now at your nearest co-op and at africanfarming.com. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.